Hello, welcome to my channel because it is October and Halloween is at the end of this month I thought that I would read out a, a series of ghost stories from my local area, Lancashire If these videos are proved to be popular then I can read out more from different areas of this country as I collect ghost books, ghost story books Today I'm going to, to, I'm going to tell you a story about a place called Stubbly Hall in Littleborough Tales of a ghostly woman have been connected to the hall for many years. She is thought to be a young bride called Fatima who is engaged to Ralph de Stobley himself. But her tale is not one of happiness. After her beloved left her to fight in the Crusades, he was tempted by another and set in line a turn of events that were to reverberate through the centuries at the old manor. Grief stricken by the news, Fatima fell into deep despair and died a lost and unhappy young woman. Months later, when Ralph returned to his country home, it is said that she glimpsed, she was glimpsed watching from the woods that surrounded the hall. A painting commemorated this sad event, which now hangs over the grand, one of the grand fireplaces, a permanent reminder of the house's troubled past. A pa Helen Garner, who used to manage Stubbley Hall, when it was a restaurant, is on record saying, I drove up to the hall early one morning and noticed a light in one of the windows. After unlocking the door, I found a lighted candle on the windowsill near the main hall. It had clearly been, only been burning for a matter of minutes as the wax was still warm. I know it wasn't there the night before I, it, I was locked up, as I was the only key holder at the time. Could Fatima be, still be waiting for a betrothed? To meet her in the afterlife it has been suggested that the candle that was left by her as a guiding light to bring Ralph back to the place where she believed she had found eternal love many think her presence is no many think her presence still haunts the hallways of the old hall watching and waiting hopelessly for the return of one who is long dead she makes her presence known mostly to young ladies, and in particular young brides, who visit the building by tripping them up, ruffling their hair, and tugging on veils and jewellery. As a fitting end to the tale of Fatima and Ralph, it is said that he dropped dead years later, having heard the melancholy notes of harp music echoing from the surrounding woods. A musical summoning to the beyond, perhaps, or in life, Fatima was an accomplished harpist. Although we did not encounter the ghost of Fatima during our investigation, we did experience one of the building's other spectral residents, that of Ralph de Stubbley himself, who appears in his formal bedroom. As we were setting up our ghost, uh, as a team were setting up their ghost hunting equipment, which monitors the environment for unusual atmospheres and temperatures. They were called to a small room near the corner of the front door. One of the mediums taking part in the research was standing in the middle of the room, describing the feeling of, in of intense pressure forcing her backwards and down towards the floor. Two investigators caught her as she was about to fall and could also feel the force pushing down with great strength. Another medium said to encounter the spirit as it moved across the room to focus on her again pushing her backwards with a strong intensity. The rest of the group, entranced as she fall, gradually disappeared, appeared to lean backwards at such an angle that, at such an angle that she could not have done by herself. She later described the, the experience from her perspective, telling us that she felt the arms of a strong man around her waist and was supported by his muscular chest. Could this have been the ghost of Ralph de Stubbley or to his old tricks even after death? Following the experience with Ralph, which is now remembered by, by people, we concluded that the spirit of the former Lord of the Manor is still very much in residence at, the hall, at his old home. Research has also identified two further ghosts. A roundhead soldier who has been seen leaning against a fireplace staring moodily into the flames and a little girl ch child who has been seen skipping happily in the fields 
surrounding this fascinating house. As we dismantled our equipment, I was surprised to find that one of the leads connecting to the cam a camera onto the summit recording apparatus had been physically undone by someone seen at home. That was a ghost hunting group. I hate that word, ghost hunting. So, ghost investigating group. Perhaps a, the ghost of Ralph Distobley did, does not want his esca escapades caught on film. Well, that gives you a lot to think of, doesn't it? Whether Ralph and whether the, the Fatima are still haunting the hall, I have absolutely no idea. But hopefully one day people you might be able to investigate this building yourself or visit it. Because you never know where a ghost may haunt and lurk. There might be one stuff behind you.